Whether you're making French onion soup or a topping for a juicy burger, doing this simple technique to onions will level up your cooking game. Any type of onions can be used. However, choose the ones that are more pungent, like yellow, shallots, or red onions. They'll give a more complex flavor and profound sweetness when cooked. Sweet and mild onions like Vidalia, Maui, or even white onions are higher in moisture and sweetness, however lower in sulfur compounds, which will give it a pronounced sweetness, however it won't taste as balanced because you don't have as many savory notes. I prefer to use yellow onions, you'll need two pounds for the recipe. To prepare the onions, we're going to start by cutting them. Trim off the stem end and root end. For this recipe, I'm going to cut it lengthwise have the onion, remove the papery skin. Slicing the onions lengthwise is going to give a sturdier structure and more mild flavor because you're damaging less of the cells. Slice into half inch thick pieces. This direction is great when you're wanting to add them as toppings. Putting the onions crosswise is going to rupture more cells so you're going to have a stronger, more pungent flavor and it's going to make the texture more delicate and tender because the fibers are going to start to fall apart. Slicing it this way is perfect when you're making something like French onion soup where you want it to melt in your mouth. Don't slice the onions thinner than an eighth inch, otherwise they're going to burn and get really mushy when cooked. Dicing the onions into smaller pieces is going to release enzymes for a more pungent flavor. This is great if you're going to add as a topping or dip. Use a wide heavy bottom pan that retains heat like stainless steel, a Dutch oven, or a cast iron pan. But if you feel more comfortable, nonstick works too. You want plenty of surface area for the onions to make contact with the bottom of the pan so they get nice and browned. I use two types of fat to cook the onions, butter and olive oil. The butter contains milk solids, which is going to turn a nice brown when heated and have a nutty flavor. It's going to stick to the surface of the onions and kickstart color change. The olive oil is also added for insurance because it has a higher smoke point so that the onions don't burn. Heat the pan over medium low heat. Add one tablespoon of unsalted butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. Stir it to combine, but don't let the butter brown. The salt not only seasons the vegetable, but also promotes the moisture from the inside of the onion to move to the surface so that it dries out quicker. Add the onions to the pan. Stir it to evenly coat in the oil, butter, and salt mixture. To kickstart softening the onions, Turn up the heat to medium. Stir and cook until they reduce in volume about five minutes. Now that the onions have lost some moisture, the caramelization process can begin. Turn the heat down to medium low. Cook, stirring the pan, then flattening them out to an even layer so that it has contact with the bottom of the hot surface and it starts to brown even more. Just let this sit for a few minutes, then stir and scrape again. Some methods call to add sugar or baking soda to the onions to cook them faster. However, I think the best caramelized onions is all about taking time and really developing that flavor and texture. The natural sugars and juices from the onion will start to release and stick to the bottom of the pan. This is going to create a brown glaze called fond. To incorporate it into the pieces, make sure you stir and scrape continuously this also prevents burning. Do this process for about 10 minutes. As the onions start to lose moisture, it's going to start to get really hard to scrape off the fond off the bottom of the pan. So it's really important to use water to deglaze. To deglaze the pan, make a well in the center. Add two tablespoons of water at a time. Stir and scrape to dissolve any of the brown bits. Repeat the deglazing, stirring, and spreading process until the onions are golden brown and caramelized. How long you cook the onions will impact its taste and texture. A blonde color will give a strong sweetness and balanced savory taste. There should be no strong sulfurous note or crispness. This takes about 30 to 35 minutes of cooking. A golden brown color will give a balanced sweet and savory taste with a more robust meaty flavor. It should be very soft in texture. This will take about 40 to 45 minutes of cooking. A deep brown color is going to give a very strong, savory, meaty taste and lingering sweetness. It should be very, very soft in texture, and this takes about 50 to 55 minutes. Wow, these are gorgeous. The alliums are completely transformed. Now you can add it to your favorite dish or cool it down and store it for up to a week in the refrigerator or freeze it for five months.
Don't let your perfectly caramelized onions go to waste. Try these creative ways to use them in any dish. In an appetizer like French onion dip, ooh, yum. Serve with crispy crostini. In a quiche or frittata for breakfast, stir into a delicious omelet. Top on a juicy burger. In your meatloaf for a sweeter taste. On top of a slice of pizza, serve with prime rib. Or my favorite, topped on crusty bread with baked brie. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Wow, now that you know how to master caramelized onions, what would you serve them with? Leave a comment below. Get the full recipe and ways to use the onions over on my website, jessicagevin.com. See you in the next video.